G'day, welcome to Project Smith Tech. Now, if you like this sort of content, don't forget to subscribe. Now, what we're doing today is this is the follow up on the AliExpress storage expansion cards. So I'll just quickly go over. So what basically I've got a handful of Samsung SATA SSDs, the 870 and they're 500 gigs each. Now these have a max read of 500 each and given that I've got seven, that would give us a total of 3,500 megabytes per second. And so unfortunately, if this card is all that it says to be then, and it is only four PCIe lanes, I won't know further than that, but that's assuming that this card will work. Now, this card, I have no doubt will work, but this is the one we're going to try first. Then we're going to put this little butte in and then I'll plug in a full stack of the SSDs here. And then I'll just do some random plug in here and there. Actually, I might even just go to the order. And if that all goes well, I'm going to also throw this in. Now, the system that we're going to be using today, some of you may be familiar. This is the first system that I actually built on the channel. Quite a glorious build, and fortunately, I still got a use for it now. So we've got the AMD 550 RX card in here. And right now, the, the power supply and the card, they're going to be competing for air. But I don't, yeah, who cares? All right, let's get the first card prepped. Okay, I decided to do something a little bit different this time. So with this card stack, if you're going to use this, you have to have bifurcation option in your motherboard. Without it, you only get first access to the first drive. So I'll put this in here. And if you do have bifurcation in your motherboard, um, I would suggest that if you're going to run it like this, get some active cooling. So just get like a fan and zip tie it on somehow or whatever. This card even has points. Zip tie each side, no problem. But unfortunately... No good. So it's essentially using one of these, which is fine, but that's all right. I've got these, these four cards are going into separate projects anyway. Now, as for the RAID card, I was very surprised actually for this, put it into Windows 11, no problems. However, the performance is going to vary somewhat. So you will want to spread out your drives, plugs, because I did notice it that, that once I had them all banked up, it was actually a little bit slow and I'm guessing it's just the SATA controllers wasn't being utilized, so they're only going to go to whichever one they are. And as far as I could tell, this chip did a good job. My guess is I'm going to go and just by the numbers. This is actually a four PCIe lane device, which is good enough for my opinion. So, you know, maybe not necessarily occupy all of these, but a hard drive isn't that quick anyway. So, and there is some overhead, so I couldn't get full speed out of a drive. And as for this little device, after from testing, as far as I could tell, it is only one PCIe lane. So you should expect about 900 megabytes per second, and which is fine. So you could plug it with three hard drives or even four if you want to. But just keep in mind that whatever speed you want to run, if you're running in a, in a RAID, just keep in mind of your bandwidth limit. And there is some slight overhead with the whatever the controller is, the SATA controller. But yes, the for the motherboard that I tested, it recognized it, no problem. Okay, now that we explored that, but I did want to actually try a more practical solution or a solution that you might want to use in an enterprise scenario. So I thought I'd buy two of these and just give these a crack. And if these turn out successful, this is what I'd use in my server going forward. It is $70 AU, but it seems to give you your cables and whatnot. All right, let's purchase these and see how they go. Okay, so now that we've got the card, we'll just do a quick unboxing now. I already looked at it, but what you want to be careful with these cables is because they're not consumer grade, but rather enterprise, they're going to assume that you know what you're doing. So you have to take a little bit more care. Now, what is interesting, each one of these cards is eight wide on the PCIe. And you've got an option of, it can hold a total of eight drives. So that's not, not too bad. Now, the reason why I got this card also is I'm hoping to actually start a project. This is going to be a little bit later on. Actually start a project to build a ZFS pool, but using Unraid. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, unfortunately, for the testing today, I've only got one of these. And that's actually not Windows 11 anymore. I'll see if Windows 11 recognizes this. Plug the card in. Let's see how we go. It showed up straight away. So Windows 11 recognizes the drive, no problem. And that's our little pesky volume there. It's currently designated D drive. Let's give it a quick run. Now there is a little bit of noise happening in the background. So there should be at least one thread that's fine and it's clocking the volume. Yeah, we go full speed, no problem. So these, these are SATA ports. And so the card, I don't know how the card will behave, but if 
I'm going by eight PCIe lanes. And if we want to see the actual results, boom, look at that. So it's full speed. And that's a, the Samsung SSD, which I would have just shown you. And that's the results that we're getting. So in theory, although it has eight, so if you have eight SSDs, which unfortunately I really would have wanted to test it out all at once. It would have been nice. Would have been nice indeed. But given that even if you have eight Samsung SSDs, that's only going to put a load on the card about 4,550 megabytes per second with something that has a theoretical max eight PCIe lanes of 7,000 megabytes per second. So even with some of the overhead and whatnot, I don't believe there's gonna be an issue with running eight Samsung SSDs at full speed, but unfortunately I couldn't test it. If you're gonna run either one of these, it's a shame. I do not have a bifurcation motherboard and I did try, I actually built another system, uh, well, with the motherboard, but it didn't have bifurcation by four by four by four by four. But never mind. that wraps it up for this video. Now for these, these two, Drives are gonna go into my 11900K system. One of these is definitely going to Linux and the other one might also be going to the Linux system. So I do have a Linux build coming up. I hadn't had a chance to play Cyberpunk and I've been looking forward to playing it. And that's probably what I'm gonna do now right after editing this video. But I do have, my next video is gonna be Linux content. So if you'd like to subscribe for more of that, please do. In the meantime, Project Smith's Tech signing out, peace.